Hello, my name is Steve Main, and I am a Renaissance gamer. I play a little bit of everything, and everything I play with a little bit of skill. And uh, right now I'm playing Hearthstone, and <laughs> I'm redrawing my entire opening hand. Um, this is a ladder game. I'm 14. I'm uh, up against Skill Capped, a hunter. Did I just play? No. And uh, I am hoping Greetings, to. Uh, Greetings, so kind of get through this. I'm, I'm looking for 12. So let's see how we can do here. <laughs> All right. I have an answer for that because I have a lightning bolt, nice. which we will use now. So uh, that's one horrible thing I don't have to worry about anymore. Any creatures. I'm gonna throw this out for the card. Not useful now, but it will be useful later. Okay. Uh, nothing particularly exciting here, so let's. Protect myself here. And hope he doesn't have some form of multi shot. So. If he plays another creature, I can Cobalt, Geomancer, Fort Lightning, and then attack with the 1 1 to get rid of the bear. Which I don't mind. I'd rather not have a lot of cards out against a hunter. Unleash the Hounds is particularly unpleasant when you have a lot of creatures on the field. Well, let's see what he does. I may not need to... Ooh, I don't think he's going to play a critter. Interesting. Oh. This will work as well. Oh, if you're sure. Alright. I still have three creatures out. I'm not thrilled with that because at five mana he could Vulture, Unleash the Hounds, and Timberwolf and get three new cards, three two ones with charge, and I think that's what's about to happen. card advantage on me by four, which I'm not thrilled with, but depending on what he does, he can put on a Savannah High Maid, maybe.
I do I want to frog one of these? I wonder. Yeah, uh, I do. <laughs> so, let's see, next round I have eight mana. That makes Ragnaros a possibility. I'm hanging on to the Acidic Swamp Booze in case he has a weapon. that route with this particular particular deck. Rhino. Oh, nice. seven mana next round, so Ragnaros is not an option. He still has uh, Unleash the Hounds that he hasn't used. Uh, he has one Vulture and one Timberwolf and one Hyena. Especially with all the uh, spell damage critters I've got floating in my deck. Alright, what do you got? Let's 
see something awesome. I think this is becoming a much closer game. I think this is a one dis advantage with hunters if you can kind of pick apart their stuff a little as you go. The longer the game goes, I'm guessing he's silencing you. So yes, well, that's fine. Now I have a 412 beat stick. Could have his other uh, uh yeah, that'll do it. Uh, so close. Doing very well for me there for a while, but oh golden magma ranger. Well, let's grab another game. Still 14. Uh, let's see what we can do. I'm hoping for a better showing here. Uh, maybe I need to tweak this deck a little bit more. I can get up to 14, 13. And then I start to hit some rough spots, so I don't know if I make it mistakes. What those shall be mine for Doomhammer. Just not playing against a warlock. So this can be that's good, that's good. That's not gonna help me at all. And card draw is nice, but let's do something that kills stuff. I like the acidic slope. I may drop one of the oozes and include something else. Okay. Nice start. Uh, for fear of demon fire, making that a 3-5, I'm just going to blow it up. And then... Let's see what happens next. <laughs> it's time for a little uh, blood. That thing. I think I have to take the two points. I can't think of a thing he can do. I mean, eh, he might have a card that does a point of damage to it. Yeah, he's got a card that does a point of damage to it. Of course he has one. It would be insane for him not to have that card. What was I thinking? Alright, well, let's... Let's do this. Make him work for it. So, Oops, against the warlock, I have more options with uh, my ability to throw stuff out on the field and not worry about getting overrun by a horde of wild and charging wolves. Mastiffs, I guess they're mastiffs, not wolves. Oh, this is Rev JM. So let's throw this out. Oh, yeehaw. Now 
the soul fire would have been nice. Well, that gets him. Oh, he still has a soul fire, though. So, he is going to town here. See, I have a couple of options. Actually, I have two options. I do this. And coin into Feral's boots. So, that gives me a taunt in front of this. That I can kill off next round pretty easily. I have Lightning Storm, so I'm going to be able to chew through all of this stuff. Do you need a blessing? Oh yes, fantastic, thank you. Okay, good, I would have preferred the frog. So let's do this. Clear his board. I mean, there's a couple curves I'm worried about. A Hellfire could show up. Uh, Jaraxxus could show up. A Nixia could show up. And I just... I don't think I can play for fear of... Oh, well, there we go. There's that. Oh, alright. So we've got a win. Alright. Let's grab another game. Oh, Shaman victory. Alright. Let's grab another game here. Let's see what we can accomplish. So Valera. Bentley Ford playing Once. Valera the Rogue. For Doomhammer. Uh, for the most part, this hand is too expensive. I'm going to throw back these two and hope for. I'm going to keep the Feral Spirit. It's a good card to have in front of a Rogue. So, eh, that's not bad. That's actually a couple of really nice cards. Ooh, and a Lightning Bolt. So we're on. Let's break them boxes. So this is a pretty good start. Let's see what uh, Bentley does. I'm guessing. Put this apple on your head. Oh, I was not guessing that. Would I would not have guessed that. So oh, I got another lightning bolt. So let's get rid of him. 
be able to feral spirit next round, but I think that's worth the getting rid of the uh, knife juggler. The light protects me. I have an answer for that as well, in the form of earth shock. Which gets rid of the divine shield before dealing the damage, so that works out pretty well. So the removal in this deck is doing a fantastic job. Getting shivved. Alright. Let's play this. I hope you like my invention. And this. I like to use the Cobalt Geomancer, and I know it only costs two and I could have put it out there, but I'd like to use it like to drop it so that I know I can get that extra point of damage I need on a spell. I, I think the Cobalt Geomancer is actually a, a much later game card despite its two cost. Okay, let's do this. And a turtle. So this gives me some protection between both this and the daggers. I mean, there's backstabs and ex eviscerates and all kinds of other stuff that Bentley can be throwing around, but I think this works as a great starter to keep myself from being so brutally murdered. get to do two points of damage to the fire elemental. Or hit me and just continue to do so. This way I'm only taking two. Let the pain speak to me. Alright, Acolyte of Pain. I definitely want to throw out the feral spirits. My health is getting low enough that that's now becoming a legitimate concern. Yes. 
definitely feral spirits. Well, this is a nice one-two punch here. Eighty-five victories with my shaman. All right. So that's like seventeen percent of the yeah, seventeen percent of what I need to get the uh, golden shaman card. So going up against a well of the opponent. Oh yes. Got Karen Bloodhoof sitting here with me. I'm going up against the Vietnamese. The Doomhammer. I'm definitely gonna want removal. Well, all right, feral spirit, hex, and more protection than removal, but they're both. Job's done. Greetings, friend. Uh, acidic swamp ooze would be fantastic too, just because I am guessing he has weapon. Oh, here comes the first one. I'm guessing this is a fiery, fiery war axe, yeah. Which I will be using to, which he will be using to deal two damage to me. So, let's throw out a totem, hope for taunt. It is a taunt! A one in four chance at awesome. As you know, armor. Okay, so this is going to be an armor up deck. Excellent. Do I throw out the feral spirits? I th think I do. Just to make him run into him. Plus I got a fork lightning and a lightning bolt, so if he throws out something Not that, uh, for example, that. four mana again, which is unfortunate. I won't have a single thing in my hand I can do anyway. Shield block. Excellent. Um, I'm totally hanging on to that. And of course, this could bring out a cleave, which... I'm not particularly concerned with a 2-1 weapon, so I'm not going to use the acidic swamp ooze on that thing. So if 
I can dig out his shield slams, I'll be perfectly okay with that before I throw out Ragnaros. So let's... Arcanite Reaper. This seems like the perfect time to throw this out. Alright, so I'm guessing there's going to be another shield slam coming. But as I said... Well, maybe. Oh, a brawl. I get to keep the fire element. Nice. You can always tell by which creature dives into the pile last. It's the one that wins. Hasn't used his other shield slam. Do I want to play Ragnaros? I can take his armor down to five. I wonder. Let's see, I'm going to give him one more chance to kill the fire elemental. See if he's got another brawl or shield slam. Any of his big murder cards. Ooh, and a heroic strike. Oh, he's gonna hit me for twelve, isn't he? Okay. all at once with something. Um, could be a garage. Definitely, definitely would definitely be an excellent use of his time there. Uh, do I have anything that gets rid of Deathwing? Need a frog. Ah. Well played. Oh man. Well, it was Deathwing for the win there. Ah. So close. So very close. Well, that is everything for right now, I think. That's two wins, two losses. So we're back where we started. Um, I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, have a nice day, and I'll see you folks tomorrow.